The media seems to be fixated on your investments in meme stocks, expressing concerns about potential systemic risks in the market. They're even suggesting that the SEC might be investigating you for creating such risks. This begs the question, do we need to reconsider how we view these phenomena? While it may not fit the traditional definition of market manipulation, when individuals gather in online chat rooms to collectively influence stock prices. As seen with GameStop and other meme stocks, it raises eyebrows. Shouldn't the SEC be looking into this behavior? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert, this is not a financial advice video. Indeed, it's an interesting debate. Should the SEC regulate activities that undermine market integrity, even if they lack fraudulent intent? The SEC is grappling with this dilemma, worried that capital might be directed towards companies with strong social media presence rather than those with genuine potential. Our current regulatory framework is geared towards addressing fraud and deliberate market manipulation, but the rise of meme stocks presents a new challenge. It's no longer just about making a quick profit. It's about identity and social belonging tied to stock ownership. But let's be real here. Blaming individual investors for market volatility is unjustified. The drastic fluctuations in meme stocks aren't solely caused by individual investors, but also by institutional players deleveraging their positions. Your modest dollar 1000 brokerage account isn't capable of moving the market by 15%. Your investment decisions are your own, based on your research and due diligence. So why are others so concerned about where you put your money? Why do they insist on linking your actions to broader market risks? If meme stocks crash, suddenly individual investors are scapegoats. But if they soar, they're the villains. Remember, movies aren't made about financial pundits. They're made about individuals like you, the so-called dumb money, who sometimes defy expectations and win big. Consider this. The SEC fines certain market makers and brokers millions of dollars, not individual investors. So if these entities are worried about your investments, perhaps it's prudent to reassess your strategy. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.